Welcome back today, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up if this video helps you. Uh, I've been wanting to do a review on this for a while. Everybody always asks me, uh, what do I keep in my garage for drinks? What do I keep in the Jeep? Because I've always got a cooler with me. And it took me a while to find out what cooler worked best for me, and I'm hoping maybe this might help you with your decision. But today we have the, she's a little dirty here again, she goes everywhere. We have the Pelican 20 quart cooler. Um, again, um, wife picked this one up actually for me a couple Christmases ago, and I've been through a lot of coolers. When I say a lot of coolers, we destroyed coolers. We had coolers on the boats, we'd take coolers full wheeler and mudding with us. And we've sunk plenty of them too, even though they're supposed to float. So needless to say, we've had our fair share. But it's finding a cooler that you get quality out of, you get your money's worth out of, especially you drop 100 200 300 sometimes four and dollars into something you want it to last. Again, uh, like the GoPro we're using, right? You want something to last that's going to do quality for you and help you out. Same with the cooler. Now, the reason we want a Pelican, I'm not knocking any other cooler guys out there. I love Yeti. I uh, love Grizzly, uh, there's Orca, Orca makes a really good cooler too, uh, and I like some of their designs, but it was finding a cooler that was going to hold up, that had a good warranty, and a company that stands by it. And so my uncle actually has a 70 quart cooler, it, I don't even know if it will fit in the Jeep here, but I put the cooler in the Jeep here just to kind of see, and I, we're actually going to do a review on my 50 quart just like this here, so you can see the size differences. But the big reason that we went through a difference of 20 with the Pelican versus Yeti is the actual size because you'll actually see that it's tall and skinny versus deep and wide. Uh, the Yeti is a little shorter, which is neat and it looks better. Um, and I believe on the smaller Yetis too, you also still have the ruler on the top, which is really cool if you take it on the boat, things like that. But this one, I like it. Um, you do have a hard handle with a much better grip on it. I mean, this grip. I've handled it so many times it just has not worn down. I have friends that have different coolers with the hard silver uh, stainless steel handles, but their sponge grips wear down really fast so they tear off. And I was like, okay, well, if that happens, what's the company going to do about it? How are they going to support me and support them? And so we'll get into that here later in the video. But also, uh, like just, it just clicks in place. Um, also, these latches. So these latches just like snap in place. They are hardcore, and these latches have been opened hundreds and hundreds of times, uh, over and over again. And they just knock on wood, they haven't worn out. Um, but I like them because they have dual locking technology, so not only do they lock in, you know, they have the latch itself, but then they have a latch to follow up. But you have a bottle opener here, uh, in case you're using bottles instead of cans, and you know, don't mind my crazy stickers on here. But um, yeah, I just thought that the lash is really cool. Plus, the bottoms you have rubberized stands on it. And going into some details about that warranty that we were talking about, Pelican offers a lifetime warranty. First of all, if they didn't make a powerful product, and Pelican not only makes coolers, they make gun cases, they make storage cases, they make hardcore tactical um, products. And um, again, they did not. Uh, sponsor this video, but quartermaster.com, I believe, is the website where we got my 50. They offer great quality products, a lot of options by Pelican 2, or you can check them out on the actual website and read up on about yourself. But uh, we're going to take you inside, kind of take a look at how deep they actually are, and then we'll actually grab a drink in here and I'll show you um, really about how much storage space they have. Now this one is the 20 quart. It is rated that in a controlled environment. What I mean by that is you're not leaving it out in the baking hot sun. And of course it's not freezing, but on a normal day, like today, we've got a lot of overcast. I've been wanting to shoot this video for a long time, everyone. But we've just had overcast because this tropical storm's come in and I've been wanting to shoot this video for like two weeks now and it just, it's not happened. So today's the day. Alrighty guys, welcome back. Uh, if you see some glitching in the video, apparently we had some updates that the GoPro needed that we're using today. And uh, not only long after that, we got the camera updated and my SD card failed. So moral of the story in this whole video, keep a backup SD card. And it's a quality SD card. So um, yep, so we're back. In the meantime, when we had some downtime, also grabbed a two liter bottle to show some 
of the spacing components inside as well. And where we left off was, and I'm gonna kind of recap here. Um, the cool thing about you know when you spend this much money, hopefully you're getting a double or triple insulated cooler. But inside of these coolers, inside of the um, liner is you don't even have to put ice in this. They sell ice packs from the manufacturer for these that are made for the coolers. And you can also use your off-brand ice packs or your, again, name brand, but cheaper ice packs you can pick up at the store. And it will actually cool the whole cooler in your drinks because of the insulation. So that's what I really like about it. Uh, plus it does seal. So on a hot day, if you go to open this and it's sitting in the sun, it may be a little hard to get open. Don't just like rip it open. But it seals really good, so that way you know that your temperature is set right and your drinks are going to be cold. So that's some uh, some good information as well. Uh, there's also one last thing that I really like is there's a spot for a lock. And you're thinking like, why would I want to lock my drinks in there? It's not just for that. I mean, not only do they say this is your tested bear proof, you've got to check out those videos online where they did reviews on these and research. Is they threw it in there with a bunch of like grizzly mountain bears and locked it and they couldn't get it open. And it, they destroyed the cooler basically on the outside, scratching it up, but they never got in. But what if you're out and you need something sealable, waterproof, floatable, that you need to put personal items in in a hurry? Um, a flood, hurricanes, we've had them cr like crazy in North Carolina in the past three years. And what if you're on the, uh, you know, on the uh, southeast coast, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana? You can drop just about anything in here put a lock on it and seal it and no matter where it ends up most likely it's going to be dry i'm not going to confirm that 100 percent but i'm going to say 99.9 percent .9 sure it's going to be dry and it's going to be sealed and your stuff is in there so that's pretty cool too and i believe that all of their coolers come with that uh, that are hard coolers but again opening it up in here you'll actually see as you slide it down there's your two liter guys Again, what I like about that is, is you can fit three two liters in here comfortably if they're odd shapes, you know, like you have, I'm not saying any name brands in here, but you have a Coke product, Pepsi product, and a home brand product, right? And they're all different sizes uh, and shapes. They'll fit in here and you can throw cans around it, or you can lay them down too. They lay flat, which I really like as well. So, and they don't rustle around, so they're not going to get shook up. And you have plenty more room for ice or ice packs. Uh, you throw food in there, stuff like that. I don't believe they make a dry rack for the 20, but the 50 that I'm going to show you, they do make dry racks for as well that you can put in there. I don't have one yet. I'm looking to purchase one, uh, but I'll give you guys an update on that. But just, just really cool to keep with you. I mean, it is, to me, it's extremely light. But people are like, dang, when they pick up this, pick up my 50 quarter, they're like, this is heavy. Really, it's not for how much product that's put into making these quality coolers. And... Again, your Pelican's just about as heavy as your Yeti. People buy Yetis because, I mean, that's what they like, and that's what all of their friends have, and that's cool. Don't get me wrong. I actually bought a Pelican because somebody else had one, and I liked it, but I don't own a Yeti. I've owned one, but I got rid of it, right? Um, I have checked out, like I said, the Grizzlies and the Orcas. Again, I like a lot of the styles that they have, but their warranties are different. You go check into it. I believe Grizzly has a five-year. Yeti has a five-year. Uh, Pelican's Lifetime Limited, and then Orca, I believe, is 10-year. Correct me on that. Put, post a comment. And if you, uh, again, this Pelican did not sponsor this. This is just something I wanted to do because every time I go somewhere, I got three or four people ask me, do you like that cooler? Never heard of Pelican. Uh, again, it's just not, it's not a brand here in North Carolina um, that people know. I mean, I guess if you're out in the Midwest, California, or upstate, tell me. I mean, have you heard of Pelican? Do you have one? How do you like it? Uh, tell me in the comments, definitely. I'd be glad to chat with you. I'm always curious as to what people like. I love the new co colors that they came out with. They just released a whole new line of colors, too, and I'm really excited about those. Um, I know I have one of these, but my wife has almost got me talked into buying another one just in different colors because they are molded with a different filler, and they're smoother looking, even though this is like extremely smooth here, but it's smoother looking. I like the ruggedness of this. Like a, some of this is scratches, but the rest is, you know, how it's made, and I just like that. So, without further ado, we're going to bring the 50 and check it out. Alrighty, guys, here is the Mac Daddy. Um, I actually bought this one first. Uh, I love this cooler. I take it just about anywhere. I take a camera, and if I go out to my uncle's for a week, uh, weekend, and he lives like an hour and a half from here, but we'll grill out stuff. Again, he's the one with the 70. So I can pack stuff in this basically for all weekend to take the grill out and 
cook down there, and he's got a big smoker. So we'll throw some brats in here, pork butt, and then wrap everything up and throw some you know, preferred drinks in there with some ice. And haul tail down there, and he's actually got an ice machine <laughs> because he needs it with the 70 quart. And I'm telling you, when I say the 70 quart's big, it's like this big, and it takes the two of us to carry it. Um, this one, I mean, I can pretty much grab a hold of it myself. It's a lot easier whenever you have two people to carry it, like out on the beach or something. Or if you put it in, in a little cart, we've got one. Uh, makes it really easy as well. But again, same style latches. Again, you're probably thinking, why in the world did he buy two of the same color? It just kind of happened that way. I really liked the color. I was on a kick. I bought this one. Did not know my wife ordered me the 20 quart. And, um... I kind of just bought this one spur of the moment, and she never told me it was a Christmas present, and this was my Christmas present myself. Um, but again, you still have your bottle opener, you have your lock mechanism. Uh, this one has some sturdier latches. You probably saw on the other one that you probably saw some like small cup holders. This one does have some very deep cup holders, um, and there is some spots like if you want to strap it down uh, on a four wheeler, Ranger, um, what have you, a Gator. And it's got some spots like for the runoff, like your drink sweats or whatever, you know, it runs off. It doesn't sit there and create rings and stuff, which is really cool as well. Uh, this one you do also have the um, measuring tape here as well. If you go fishing, things like that. In North Carolina, we have a law where you can't keep fish under certain length. Pretty sure most states probably have their own law about that, but it is good to have. Um, I've used it for numerous things too. I've used it for wood, uh, measuring out rope. So it's not just for fishing. So I've actually used it for a couple other things too. Um, this one does still have your rubber rise feet on the bottom. Which again, I really like. You can just basically put them on everything. And again, I think the rubber rise feet, like I mentioned before, is the only thing that Pelican doesn't keep in their warranty. If you work for Pelican or are sponsored by them, let me know. Put in the comments for everybody, please. I'd be very helpful. But from what I've read from all of my paperwork and the research I've done online, that's the only thing I can think of that they don't protect. Again, uh, one thing that I was mentioning before about the warranties with Yeti having only a five-year warranty. Um, now, again, it's not just Yeti. It's Grizzly and Orca. They have these other things, but they have the rubberized latches. Those latches, they sell them, right? I think two of them are $25. If I bought a cooler for $400, I do not want to have to go out and buy new latches for $25 every time they break because I use my coolers a lot. Some people use theirs once every couple weeks, and they take them out and go out. That's cool. They may never go out. Mine would have already went out. I'll tell you that right now. Plus, I like the hard handles. Again, I stated on the first one, this one has hard built-in handles. There's no ropes, no nothing breaking. Again, they sell those too. I think they're two for $25. It adds up. So, why would you want to put more? It's like buying a vehicle because you know it's going to break, but you're like, oh, when it breaks, it's cool. I'll just put a little bit of money into it and keep it on the road. Uh, it's not my mentality of thinking, yeah, I own Jeeps. Don't get me wrong. There's a reason I keep a toolbox in the back of my Jeep. But I've got a lot of parts for these Jeeps. I've owned them over many years, and I've accumulated those pieces. So they were investments a long time ago. So I guess the older person in me and the mentality is just like, if I have to fix it, I've got a part in the garage for it. So we put. But this one, she don't look very big. Now, she is. There's your two liter. If that tells you anything at all, there is your two liter, guys. It don't look like a lot, but I have put three two liters, a case in here, uh, we did make some little jello, you know, we'll just say that the jello shots, throw them all in here and fill it full of ice and there's still room. You still put sandwiches around it. I know that sounds crazy. It don't look that big until you start packing stuff in here and you get a lot of room. Now I do can say this one has a drain spout. That is the only downfall about the 20 quart is yes, I wish they had a drain spout. Do I think it'd probably take up a lot more room? Maybe we probably wouldn't have as much room in our deep cooler with our 20. But this one does have a drain spout, which I really like. Plus, it has a screw-on drain. So it actually screws off. And it's supported by this front plate here, which most of them, like this one, has the little spindle, of course, so it can move. But most of them don't have this plate here. So these things fall off or they break. Um, people will pull on them and they'll break. So you've got a lot less movement and friction here versus the friction on the front and the back of the plate. And it just screws back on and you're done and sealed. And Michael Wood again, never had any problem with that drain spot and I love it. I love how it's made. So, again, there's your size of the cooler. When I take it on trips, I actually have to take my cargo cover out 
and then I'll twist it around to the side. I don't have to strap it down or anything. I can pack a ton of stuff in here. It looks big, but for the most part, it, it doesn't really take up that much room to meet. However, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, please thumbs up, subscribe. Um, if there's anything else you know about it that you'd like to support as far as warranty information, information about the coolers you use, any information that you guys have, definitely, again, subscribe. Add into the comments. I'd love to hear what uh, what you guys use and the reason you guys use it because it might add a new cooler or uh, new products to my lineup as well. And again, I usually keep this one in the garage because you know when I'm working on vehicles, things like that. I've usually got it pretty warm in here, or it's in summertime because I had a refrigerator out here in the garage, and it just it, it's not supposed to endure those elements, so it went out very quick when I got really hot in the garage. So it's easier for me to keep a cooler in the garage while I'm working out here in the cars. Um, and the bike versus a refrigerator. And I know that may sound kind of redundant, but it, it just works. So, again, thumbs up, guys. Thanks again for watching, and uh, see you soon.